In the last 10 years, Snack has provided fighter training stack supplements to more than 20 world champions, including Mikey Garcia, Demetrius Andrade, and Caleb Plant. If you're ready to take your fight game to the next level, the Snack Fighter Training Stack is for you. To knockout, we got Rolly in knockout. We got, we have a, a number of young, hot prospects. Number, uh, we just, you just saw last week when we did our uh, Showbox show, uh, we see the uh, Xavier Martinez stole the show. Um, very impressed with Angelo Leo, uh, Andres Cortez. Um, we have Richardson Hitchens, Dylan Price, um, Kenny Robles. Uh, who else am I leaving out? Leonard, didn't they just announce today uh, Juan Herardes? Juan Herardes. will be on the televised yeah. portion of, I want to say, the Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder, yeah. He'll he, be the opening he, bout on yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll be taking on Argenis Mendez. Very good fight. For yeah, him. very good. Former world champion. Absolutely. It's a step-up fight. And um, I'm very, very excited to um, watch him go to work um, on Deontay's uh, car. It, it'll be a very, very impressive performance. Now, when I say you guys, so basically on behalf of Mayweather Promotions, you guys don't hold back in putting your guys in tough, challenging fights. We see it, I mean, we just saw uh, Dylan Price back in January, a very tough fight, came up short, but you guys really- But, he's got tested positive for really? steroids. Okay. Okay. So I was unaware of that, but mm -hmm. you guys definitely want to have a lot of confidence in your fighters, definitely uh, put them in challenging fights. Talk about that trust, not just from yourself, but from Floyd to to really challenge your fighters and test them and see where they're at. That, all right, that, that's um, been Floyd's main objective, is that uh, he's been very direct on how he wants to move our young fighters. Um, that's how he was moved. You, you know, you want to see what you got. You know, you want to be able to test these guys. Um, they have a tremendous uh, sparring in the gym you know, to prepare for these fights. And that's why we're willing to put our guys in with anybody. Now, July is a little ways away, but uh, we've heard you speak recently this week saying Gervonta's next fight will be in Baltimore. If not Baltimore, definitely the DMV area. Um, is it's gonna it, be in Baltimore. It will be in Baltimore. Are we, Gamboa's name was thrown out there, any name? I'm not ready to announce who okay. he's fighting, but don't matter who Tank fight. He's gonna, sell out. he's gonna pack the arena and he's gonna put on a dynamic performance. Regardless of whoever he fights. He's must see he's he's a must see attraction. Um, he's one of the the biggest young rising stars in the sport. And um I'm excited. Speaking uh, of young attractions. Yeah, That's it. Lin 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 Sign up for them KOs. Leonard, how soon are we from seeing Roley and Tank both on pay-per-view? What's the rush? What's the, when you say on pay-per-view, what do you mean? Both of them. Solo fights, pay-per-view. Well, I mean, all our guys, again, we're, we're going to move them at our discretion, and uh, we're going to keep them busy um, so they can continue to develop and get better. You showed your excitement for Tank now, but you got to be excited about this guy. Of course. Talk, talk to, talk of course. To Ro 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 Roley knows how we feel about him. Um, he's one of the most exciting young prospects in the sport. Um, and you saw, you know, what he does. That's what he does. He knocks people out. Talk to us about this dominance tonight. Is this what you anticipated? And, and how do you feel right now? Well, I mean, anyone like that was doing interviews with me, like leading up to the five minute, I told everybody I'll get him up or kind of in a hook after. So, I mean, I, I saw him open for it before, you know, so it's like. So you clear clairvoyant as well, huh? Yeah. It was tough though, it was tough. I mean, he could take a shot. I thought I had him out in the first round, but I mean, he just like, he shook him and wobbled him for a second. Now, no, he just like, kind of started coming. I was like, damn, tough. Okay, so you had to your bag, huh? Yeah, it was tough though. I mean, you, were, you were able to get some rounds, and, and I say that because a lot of your fights happened. Yeah, quick, right? really quickly, yeah. Uh, but I say that to say, or to ask, how soon, I guess, before we see you, because I know you want to be active, how soon before we see you in your next fight, regardless of who it is? Like, how soon before we can get to you? As soon as, as soon as possible. About Jim? Yeah. 
Yeah. No, 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 not at all. We're just going to continue to keep him active. Um, he, everyone knows Roley's not, he doesn't lack confidence in any way. He's willing to fight anybody. And but again, there's no rush. He, you know, he's a young prospect. Wanted to continue to develop because you can always get better. Um, outstanding performance tonight. Very proud of him. Um, got a chance to uh, showcase his skills on Fox tonight, and um, that's 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 very very big. Well, you gotta ask uh, Kevin Newman moments uh, after the fight. He was speaking to you. Kevin Newman too. Kevin Newman is a super middleweight, uh, up and coming prospect with me. How's the hand though? I saw you guys were talking about the hand. Is the hand good? Um, I had uh, in the dressing room, my hand hit with it, and like I had felt like it swelled up a little bit right here. So it was even before the fight, like. And then, you know what I mean, me after hitting him, boom, 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 over and over again, man, I'm obviously going to feel it more. But I'm all right. I don't feel it. It doesn't hurt as bad anymore. I just saw you guys talking about this. I just want to get some clarification. So that was before the fight. That was before the fight. That was when I was hitting the men. Now, i got to ask, uh, with you, your background, you're very, uh, I don't want to use the word flamboyant, but you're very confident about yourself. You carry yourself in a very, uh, just in a confident way. You put that with your Cuban background because you're very proud about that. You attract a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people, uh, not just on social media, but like in your culture. Talk to us about that because I saw a number of Cuban stars in you know ringside to see you fight. Can you tell us about about that and what that means to you to have your Cuban people behind you? Well, I mean, like any fighter, you know, they want their race behind them, and I mean, I'm glad to have uh, my Cuban people behind me. So. I mean, Cuba is known for like so many great fighters, you know, throughout the years. So, I mean, I'm just happy to have them behind me. What's next for you, baby? Maybe June. No, well, what's next? Not so much like fight day. Like as far as personal goals or attributes that you would like to accomplish, what could you say that at this point in your career? What do you What do you foresee achieving next? Just, I mean, keep getting better and better, you know. I'm sure after this, you know, I'll probably take a week off, you know, then go back, you know, practice my jab, practice this, practice body shots, practice hooks, practice everything, you know. And just get better and better and better, you know, and get ready for whatever the great, the greater be, uh, in front of me, you know. What do you think you can get better at? You just mentioned that you practice on your jab. And your everything. What, everything. Anything specific that you... There's no such thing as a perfect fighter. Out there's no course. such thing. You know, I'll work on anything and everything. You know, like I said, I have... Um, I have a lot of plans for myself, you know, as far as developing. I, I started this sport, what, six years ago when I, was, when I was 17, I'm 23 now. I'm still learning, you know, I mean, for what I've accomplished in these six years of me fighting, I mean, it's practically unheard of, you know, so, I mean, I'm just going to keep getting better and better and you're going to see a better rolling next fight and a better rolling next fight after that.